opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. The Sicilian defense controls the d4 square with c-pawn. Nf3 develops the knight toward the center to prepare for a d4 pawn push, where the knight will recapture if black captures on d4. Nc6 helps control both the d4 square and the e5 square. Nc3 develops the knight toward the center, supports the e4 pawn and controls the d5 square. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This offers an equal trade of pieces. The opposing bishop is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is the last book move. This ignores an opportunity to move a bishop to safety. It is an inaccuracy. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This forces the opponent to double their pawns, which weakens their pawn structure. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is excellent. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is best. This removes the attacking knight. It is best. The bishop is ready to be developed to an active square. It is excellent. This misses an opportunity to develop a queen off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. This kicks an opposing knight. It is excellent. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. This threatens to win a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. This allows the knight to control more squares. It is best. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is good. This activates a piece and simultaneously wins time by attacking an opposing bishop. It is best. This wins time by threatening a queen and forcing it to move away. It is best. This moves the queen to safety. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is best. The opposing knight is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is best. This exposes an attack, threatening a pawn. It is excellent. This blocks an attack on a vulnerable pawn. It is good. This immobilizes the opponent's bishop by pinning it to the king. It is best. This threatens to win a bishop. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This misses a better way to defend a bishop that was under attack. It is a mistake. This is the only good move. This took advantage of a mistake and white now has a winning advantage. This prevents the opponent from being able to win a bishop. It is a great move. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This doubles the rooks onto a single file, which allows them to team up to create threats. It is good. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is excellent. This frees a bishop to adequately defend another piece. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Takes back. It is best. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is best. That's fine. It is good. This pins a bishop to the king. It is best. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. A very strong play. It is excellent. This blocks the attack on a pawn that could have been captured. It is best.